How to prepare for IELTS exam in 10 practical tips. The International English Language Testing System, IELTS, is a testing system that grades your English language skills based on four key aspects of communication, speaking, writing, reading, and listening. International students and immigrants who want to study or move to an English-speaking country are often required to take the IELTS exam to demonstrate proficiency in the English language. In 2018, about 3 million people sat for the IELTS and majority of them were students and immigrants moving to the UK, Australia, and Canada. The examination is valid for two years and score ranges from 0 to 9. The IELTS exam requires proper and adequate preparation to obtain a high score. In today's video, we share with you 10 practical tips to better prepare for IELTS exam. This video is brought to you by After School Africa. If you are new here, you are welcome. Consider subscribing to this channel to continue exploring opportunities. 1. Practice based on test format One pitfall you must avoid is not getting familiar with the test format. Remember that there are two versions of IELTS, IELTS Academics and IELTS General Training. The listening and speaking components are the same for both tests, but the reading and the writing components are different. Read the information for Candidates Booklet, which provides essential information about how to respond correctly to each part of the test. Get to know what each level on the IELTS band score table means. Understand what the examiners are looking for in the speaking and writing test by reading the assessment criteria. Get the facts. Don't believe myths and rumors about tests. They will only distract you. 2. Work on your vocabulary. You must read deliberately to understand words and their usage as a function in sentences and also in social context. Read vigorously from newspapers, novels to online articles from reputable media outlets. This will help you develop your vocabulary and give you a wide array of words in the English language. 3. Early Registration It may not be a popular opinion, but one of the ways to do it better in IELTS examination is to register early. Early registration gives you room for proper planning and preparation. You have less anxiety and pressure while studying. One of the major reasons people fail or don't meet up the expected score in their IELTS examination is because they register late and don't have enough time to prepare. No one excels in an examination by accident. If you register early, you have enough time to plan, prepare, and excel. 4. Create a study schedule. Everyone have their study zone, the moment of the day where they assimilate effortlessly. To some, it might be at the middle of the night when serenity reigns. To others, it might be when they visit the library and settle in the cubicle. Fitting your study time into your study zone will help you study comfortably. 5. Listen to radio and TV programs by native speakers. It's one thing to watch TV or listen to radio to be entertained. It's another thing to do so with the intent to learn. Listen to radio and TV programs featuring native speakers to build your vocabulary and understand words and their usage. Listening to programs like on BBC or CNN will help you practice for your IELTS examination. 6. Use the dictionary effectively. The dictionary is today a decoration in most homes but it's the easiest tool to build your vocabulary. You don't even need to have a hard copy dictionary. A dictionary app on your phone is the way to go. In fact, if you don't have a dictionary app on your phone right now, head over to App Store and download one. It will help you a great deal in preparing for your IELTS exam. 7. Study Sample Questions IELTS exam can be tough if you're not well prepared. For a better chance at acing the exam, you have to practice sample questions. Practice the test using free IELTS test sample questions. You can also use the official IELTS practice materials, which you can purchase online or from your local test center. These sample questions will not only help you prepare adequately, you also get to measure how much you have learned and how well you are likely to perform in the exam. In addition to practicing sample questions, also consider taking an IELTS preparation course. A preparation course will help you practice the type of task included in an IELTS test. For example, a short essay or letter for the writing test. Get feedback on your answers to practice questions, become more confident in your test taking skills and help you decide if you are ready to take your IELTS test. 8. Read in different formats. Reading in preparation for IELTS can become tedious and boring and you may switch off if you are constantly reading test books. Why not expand your reading to text you're genuinely interested in? Magazines, newspapers, and books are all valuable resources. And the more interested you are in the topic, the more likely you are to remember what you read.
9. Watch videos with original subtitle. There are millions of videos on YouTube and around the web from native English speakers with subtitles. Watch these videos to practice built reading and listening skills. You can download movie scripts easily online and read the subtitle as you watch. This is particularly useful if you don't have a speaking partner and makes a nice change to boring test books. But don't rely on the caption feature on YouTube videos. 10. Play word games. You don't have to go out and buy a board game like Scrabble, although you could. There are a number of online word game resources that can help you improve your vocabulary. If you're taking a study break, then don't waste it on a gossip website or instant messaging. Instead, play a few word games and make the most of your time to prepare for the exam. The key to acing any exam is to understand and prepare within the scope of the exam. Use the tips shared in this video to get ready to excel. Have you sat for the IELTS exam in the past? What are the tips on preparing for the IELTS exam with would you like to share? Let us know in the comment section below. If you're yet to subscribe to After School Africa, this is a good time to subscribe. Until next time, your success matters.